Good afternoon. Firstly, I would like to thank the organizers for giving me the opportunity to present this work entitled Bacteria Bots, Motile Stealth Biological Carriers of Novel Nanoactives. There are different active systems in our surroundings, like group of birds, fish, particles, animations that we have seen even in video games. Active systems, and specifically active colloid systems, are the ones capable of converting energy from the near environment into movement. These active systems are classified in two. Firstly, the artificial microswimmers, with the main example of Janus particles. Janus particles have an asymmetry due to different chemical composition or physical properties. That leads to a gradient towards a specific stimuli, like the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, and then moving because of this gradient. On the other hand, we have the biological microswimmers like bacteria, sperm cells, and molecular motors. These have the ability to swim through different chemical or metabolic reactions, or even physical interactions. I will focus on this type of biological systems as movement actuators in this presentation. In this sense, bacterial biohybrid microswimmers takes advantage of bacteria cap capability to swim in order to develop microtransportation systems, composed by a carrier, in this case the bacteria, and an inorganic particle, a cargo, that is considered like a container for further functionalities. Examples of biohybrids are shown here, like the sperm bots and the bacteria bots. The bacteria bots themselves uh, can be further classified in terms of the ratio between carrier and cargo. So we have the bacteria bots, we have the multibot, or we have the bacterial microsystem, depending on this ratio. Beyond this, we have the, the intrinsic differences among bacteria and the inorganic particles. For example, we have the electrical double layer or the surface charge of the particles and bacteria, which influences the interaction with the surrounding ions. This feature is quite important for the efficient development of bacteria bots. Inorganic particles are more tunable, predictable, and mostly homogeneous in their chemical composition or the chemical moieties on the surface, and that's why the interaction with ions is quite known. But with bacteria, it's the other way around. Its surface is quite complex, it's more dynamic, and it's not homogeneous as the inorganic particles. So we take all these features into account in order to develop different strategies, attachment strategies for the assembly of bacteria bots. These are based on chemical bonding interaction, electrostatic, roughness, hardness, the slime produced by the bacteria themselves, or even hydrophobic interactions. It, then everything of these, uh, all of these strategies uh, are aimed to develop in perspective transportation systems with relevance in fields like the nanomedicine. We focus in the development of bacteria bots, of bacteria bots using non-pathogenic bacteria, like the ones part of our own uh, microbiome. Besuptilis or Bacillus subtilis is a visible carrier. It's a gram-positive bacteria. Now, when we describe the swimming behavior, it has long curved trajectories. It's non-pathogenic, as I've said before. Uh, the set of potential is minus 25 millivolts, which uh, gives the idea that interaction with positive surfaces is uh, quite good. And uh, it's grown in nutrient growth agar, uh, but this contains uh, or implies high ionic strength. We studied the swimmer behavior considering this ion strength uh, content on the, med in the medium and as well the cargo, the possible cargo attachment to the uh, substrate. Uh, as I've said before, these bacteria grow in a high st ion strength medium, but this will lead to cargo attachment to the substrate of analysis instead of to the bacteria. This is needed to be uh, considered uh, or to develop in between conditions in order to obtain an efficient attachment. So uh, different solutions with different ion strength were prepared uh, in order to resuspend Bacillus subtilis and evaluate their swimming behavior. In this case, uh, phosphate buffer solution, water medium in ratio 1-1, and sodium chlorine 0 0.1 mole per liter were studied. 
In order to, con to characterize the movement of bacteria, firstly, we analyzed the raw conditions in the growing medium. Different video were recorded under these conditions to obtain significant amount of velocity trajectories and values. Firstly, there was image treatment uh, performed using ImageJ software to detect automatically the bacteria cells swimming, and then to obtain the corresponding swimming tracks. An average value of 35.2 microns per second was observed and calculated for this bacteria. Accordingly, for further evaluations, we carried out this uh, consideration for the other solutions that we mentioned before, and the bacteria were suspended on them. And as it, can, as it can be seen, there is a decrease in the average velocity of the bacteria as it was expected. But the one value closer to the raw bacteria is the one in the suspension 1 1 to water and medium with a 25.3 microns per second. Um, so this value was chosen as medium for the binding assays. Evaluating the affinity. Uh, the attachment affinity towards Bacillus subtilis as a carrier can be carried out using quartz microbalance technique. In this, the binding rate and the binding to a quartz crystal is screened by the difference oscillation frequency. Then the crystal is functionalized in this case with polylysine to obtain positive charge and then to evaluate its attachment or its interaction with uh, different bacteria cells, in this case, Bacillus, Bacillus subtilis. As it can, can be seen, uh, the functionalized crystal presented higher oscillation difference respect the non-modified crystal, which shows that this is a favorable interaction for the attachment of Bacillus subtilis. This approach can be used for the evaluation of further functionalities for the assembly of cargo to bacteria. Then, Polylysine was used to functionalize mesoporous particles, mesoporous silica particles. These particles are, were chosen because you can easily functionalize them with different chemical um, strategies. They are biocompatible and then can be loaded with further actives. The effective functionalization of the mesoporous silica particles were evaluated as well with um, the difference in between the zeta potential before and after the functionalization to obtain a change uh, previously from minus 39 millivolts to plus 20 millivolts. Then after the incubation of these particles with the conditions previously mentioned, uh, it was observed different cases of attachment of the swimming on the swimming of bacteria, therefore the assembly of bacteria bots. Different swimming tracks were estimated as well as the ones uh, shown in this image, with an average velocity around 19.1 microns per second uh, for these systems. Even though the velocity is compromised a little, a little the assembled bacteria bots are capable to transport effectively the cargo, uh, in this case, the silica particles loaded with uh, polylysine. Overall, the conclusions and perspectives of this work, let's say uh, take home messages are, for example, the carrier characterization implies the swimming behavior that we did with optical uh, microscopy to obtain the best conditions for the binding assays. This binding affinity can be screened with a quartz crystal microbalance approach, uh, and then new uh, approaches and functionalities can be tested in this, in this sense by this technique. Using the QCM data, uh, this can be adapted accordingly to functionalized particles and is used as well as, as in this case, a screened by the change of set of potential. Then uh, the effective assembly of bacteria was observed and studied by the optical microscopy and as well by the evaluation of the uh, swimming tracks in between the particles uh, binded to the bacteria. And as a future perspective, these studies open the gate for the development of new nanoactives or multifunctional cargo once the assembly procedures to the main body, in this case, the silica, the mesoporous silica particles, is optimized. Uh, once again, I, I would like to thank for the opportunity of presenting this promising works, work in this conference, and thank you all for your interest.